stay sit I'm gonna stay sitting down because it's what we're comfortable up here. <laughs> um, I got the sense from a lot of people, like at the different tables I was sitting at, is that there's like a lot of uh, a lot of guilt from everybody, and um, uh, I've had to struggle with that too. And um, I just wanted to share a story that happened uh, to me recently that really uh, helped that uh, lesson. Um, so, and, and through this story, I hope that it it answers the how can we build a, a bold community land ethic. Um, so, uh, last winter, I uh, had the chance to take uh, a herbal uh, apprenticeship class with my mother, uh, with uh, a herbalist in Red Deer. Um, and uh, just a, a really wonderful class, and it really uh, opened my eyes to, to how connected we are with everything. And, and hearing Sylvia talk about um, the medicines that her people use, and, and um, it just, it really, it really affirms that we are connected, that for thousands and thousands of years, we've, we've used these plants. Like, you know, where did we get our medicines before we had doctors, before we had Rexall Pharmacy? Like, we've been, we've been doing just fine for thousands and thousands of years, so that's another part of it, but it, it just, uh, the, knowing the knowledge of the use of plants as medicines is really affirming to the interconnectedness that we have and we share with the earth, but, um, the story I want to share, uh, it was on the last day of the class, uh, it was in June, I believe, and uh, it, the class was tall, called uh, Plant Spirit Medicine, and so we went to my teacher's house in our little backyard in, uh, in this little little town just outside of uh, Red Deer, and she had this just magnificent herbal garden with all these different medicinal plants. Um, just all growing together, and it was just a really beautiful place in this huge uh, balsam poplar tree growing out. Must have been 60 years old. And uh, we were instructed to, um, to pick a plant and sit with it for a while and ask it a question. And uh, we did some meditating first to, you know, free our minds and stuff like that, but uh, when we finished the meditation, I was immediately drawn to uh, a plant called valerian. It's that really tall, uh, uh, just a vibrant green color with these beautiful white flowers. And uh, we were instructed to sit with the plant and, and offer it our breath because we breathe in oxygen and out carbon dioxide. And just so happens plants breathe in carbon dioxide and they breathe out oxygen. So. That in itself is acknowledging the connectedness of the plants and, and us. So we were, we were asked to sit with the plant and just, just breathe into it and receive back for some time. And then after a time, we were supposed to ask the question that we were given, which was, what do plants need from human beings? And uh, at that time, I was feeling a lot of guilt because we've done some pretty horrible things. And uh, I felt responsible for things that I had done and things that I was doing. And um, so I asked a plant, <laughs> what do you need from people? And uh, I had this overwhelming uh, feeling that the plant just wanted me to hold its hand. All it wanted was recognition. And I feel that to build a community amongst ourselves in the natural world, we need to recognize that they are part of it. And just through the simple act of recognition, acknowledging that they're there, acknowledging that they provide services for us every day, even though we don't ask for it. And so I got that overwhelming sense that all it wanted was just to hold its hand. And so I reached out and grabbed a leaf. And uh, and then it was, I was just this feeling of forgiveness just washed over me that I had no 
even though I didn't ask for forgiveness, even though it wasn't deserved, it was just freely given. And so, like talking with people in the in the class today, and and uh, I felt a lot of guilt, but I don't feel that this earth holds a grudge. It just wants recognition and just to maintain that relationship and to, to continue building that community.